As you all know, I've done this basement project. I bought this house two years ago, and I've been working basically the past two years to make it nice. And I found along the way, I've used a lot of contractors, called a lot of companies, and I found a business idea that I want to talk to you guys about right now. So my kids are walking and they are running and it is dangerous in this neighborhood because cars drive fast, the UPS guy drives fast, my neighbors drive fast. So I needed a backyard with a fenced in area for them to play. And here we are, you can see I'm in my backyard and the fence is complete. But it wasn't this easy been trying to get a fence company out here for about six months. Actually ordered the fence two and a half months ago. But um, I'm gonna tell you how to start this business, how I would start this business, and why I think it's an opportunity. So first of all, I called about five companies, asked them about a fence. I drew, a aerial aerial, I drew on an aerial photo of the house and put a red line of where the fence needed to be. I, I knew it was gonna be 200 feet. I knew that I needed three gates. I knew that um, I wanted it to be six foot tall dog ear fence. So I sent them all this and I'd say the first week I got one quote that was for about $5,300. And I thought that was a little bit steep. From what I was reading, it should be under $20 a foot to, to get a fence built. But um, it turns out that's not true. It's always gonna be over $20 a foot, but finally, Precision Fence Works in Athens, Georgia, did this fence for me. They quoted it at $4,500 for a 200 foot fence and two gates. So I came out and I watched the guys do it. We'll talk about that first before we talk about the financials. What they did is they put um, a string on the stakes in the corner of the yard and they popped a, uh, a line of string all the way down the property line. So all the way down the fence in a straight line. See these boards are really close together. If you're not watching the YouTube video, I suggest you tune in. And with this string in, they measured every eight feet and they put a hole in the ground. You can see right here, they just, they went around with an auger and put a hole in the ground up against the post. It was uh, up against the line, the string. And it was, I'd say uh, this is four by four post I'd say the hole was six by six. Then they put the po dropped the post in every one, all the way around. There is um, about 25 posts in this entire job, four by four posts. And um, that's it, that's all they did. They, then they went around and leveled each one, stood it up with a level on the side, leveled it, and poured a one bag of ready concrete mix, which is about $2 each in every hole, and put the, po put the post in there, tapped it, and got it perfectly level. Then what they did is they put these bracings on, went around the nail gun, nailed these bracings on, and went back and leveled it one more time and then put water in all the holes. They just put, um, I'd say a couple gallons of water in each hole on top of the concrete mix. I guess that was enough to harden the mix and finish the setting of the posts. And then they put these six inch dog ear plats all the way around. There's 400 of these in this job. It took two guys, two days. They were here 10 hours each day. So let's do some math on how much, how profitable this company was. It was a $4,500 job. Um, I priced out the materials. We needed 400 of these dog ear plats. We needed 25 posts. We needed two gate hinges. And we needed, uh, so the, since the fence is 200 feet and each one of these uh, cross beams, there's three of them on the whole fence. So that's 600 feet of them. Um, basically all the materials to do this job about $1,800. And that's if I go buy it at Lowe's and Home Depot. So I'm sure I'm gonna go in here, it's 95 degrees outside, I'm not built for that. I'm sure that you can get a better deal for um, when you go buy the stuff in bulk. So we're looking at $1,800, let me do some math. 1,800 bucks minus 4,500 but we got two guys who work 10 hours a day. So if they make $20 an hour, all said and done after workers comp and everything else, 
let's say $25 an hour to be, to be fair, it's $250 per guy per day. Um, that is $500 each, $1,000 each. So $1,800 in supplies, $1,000 in labor. Um, that is $3,800. And then we had a uh, $4,500 bill price. They made $600 on this job in two days. Um, that's pretty awesome. It's a pretty good opportunity if you ask me. So how would you start this business? How would you launch a fence building business? I'm going to tell you. So on my website, there is a page called Essential Tools. It's the essential tools to start a business. It is, if you go to it, it is swaystartup.com slash essential dash tools. And you'll see a list of the things that you need to run down and the things that you need to get in place to start a business. Number one, generate the idea. Boom, you got that. Fence building. Number two, name your business and buy your domain. I talk about a method where I hold up uh, use synonym.com and um, Google domains, and I'm brainstorming business names. I'm brainstorming um, available domains, and I'm going to pick one. I'm going to buy it. I use Bluehost as a hosting service. Step three, incorporate an LLC. Um, depends when you do this. Always depends. If you're going to work as a sole proprietor for a while, that's fine. Depends on your risk tolerance. Depends on how risky the business is that you are in. Okay, so step four, set up your bank account. Step five, get a logo and some media. I like um, Fiverr, I like Upwork, I like 99designs. If you wanna use a free option, you can use Canva and you can kind of build out a text font-based logo. Easy peasy, right? Okay, get a uniform. My favorite way to do this is go to TJ Maxx, Target or Walmart, go get a, a polo shirt, a Dickies polo shirt, and then show up at an embroider with your logo and a PDF file and have them embroider five or 10 polo shirts. You're gonna look at under $20 each to go all in. Okay, now you're gonna get a headshot of you wearing your apparel. Um, use, all you gotta do is use um, portrait mode on your phone, have your wife or girlfriend or boyfriend, or whatever, take a picture of you. Then you have head, headshot and it's time to build out your website. So I like Sparrow websites. They do the launch kit advertisement with Sweaty Startup, we've had a lot of people use that service. And basically for $450, they take your media, they take your logo and they build you out a website. They build you all the pages that you need. They give you a Google My Business location. They give you a Google Suite, a G Suite, which we're gonna talk about here in a second, but they're gonna get it all set up for you to get found online. You can do it yourself. You can go on WordPress, you can build your own website. Okay, so you got the website. Now we're gonna talk about Google. Google is the backbone of running a business. So we need Gmail and you can forward a business domain to Gmail. If you buy the launch kits through at, through those guys, and basically, by the way, um, launchkits.com slash sweaty, you can go there. If you use the discount code sweaty, you can save uh, 50 bucks off of your purchase price. Okay, so they give you G Suite, which is a Google business domain um, name for email. So if you're Classic City Fence, then you're gonna be Nick at Classic City Fence, and it's gonna go right to your Google. You're gonna be able to send mail from it, it's awesome. Now you're gonna set up a Google, Google Voice phone number. Get a Google Voice phone number so that you're not putting your own phone number on the uh, website, your own cell phone number, and you can have numbers forward in, you can have special voicemails and so on. Okay, now, this is the critical one. You need a Google My Business location. You basically go to uh, mybusiness.google.com and you send a postcard to your house or your office or wherever you want, and this allows you to get found on Google. This is how most businesses are found nowadays on the map. Um, build this pro portfolio or this profile out, put photos on it, put your open times, put your website link, uh, make posts on there. It is awesome and it is incredibly important for what you're trying to do. You can use Google Calendar, you can use Google Drive, you can use Google Analytics. All this stuff is set up automatically when you do the launch kit, but you can easily do it yourself. Uh, okay, YouTube is another, another great one. So I would get my polo on, I would stand in front of a fence and I would say, hey, this is Nick with Classic City Fence. Um, just want to tell you about these awesome privacy fences that we're doing. We have the best rates in town. Um, give us a call, blah, 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 blah. Say your phone number, upload that to YouTube. Okay, now we're going to try to find, do some marketing. Okay, so what I want you to do is go on Facebook Marketplace and make a free post on Facebook Marketplace that says you do fences and you're going to do them for $18 or $20 a foot and it's going to be awesome. Then you're going to go on, on Craigslist and make another post about how you do fences, $18 to $20 a foot, whatever you're going to charge and then make those posts. Then you're gonna go to neighborhoods. You're gonna go to neighborhoods just like mine. 
with kids and families and dogs. Um, a lot of houses that are fairly large and people look like they're middle, middle to upper class. And you're going to put a flyer on the door or you're going to knock on the door and offer your fence building services to them. Another thing you're going to do, if you look back here, these three houses, I talk about them in a lot of my videos, a lot of my podcasts. These three houses are all brand new houses. That one's brand new. This one's brand new. And this one's brand new. This house just got a fence put in. The day before I got my fence put in, this one got put in, okay? So if you get a builder, if you talk to the builders, if you get in with the builders and the contractors, you can be their fence guy. Highly recommend doing that. Now, another thing, so you start getting, put your name out there, deliver some flyers, uh, introduce yourself to realtors, because realtors in town, they sell a lot of houses and people say, I need a fenced in backyard, and a lot of times they end up buying a house that doesn't have a fenced in backyard. Realtors are gonna be able to make a recommendation for you. So maybe you give a realtor a really good deal on a fence. You go to their house, you build them a fence so that they can recommend you all over town as a guy who builds awesome fences. Another thing, fences can get deteriorated and need replaced. And this is great work for you guys because you don't have to build new holes and, and set new posts. But you can go around, rip off all the old slats and put them on. You can restore decks, you can stain them. Um, my deck builder said that he does not stain decks. Or my uh, fence builder said he does not stain fences. Even though six weeks from now, I need to stain that deck or that fence or it will deteriorate over time. So now I gotta find somebody else. Um, I recommend doing that work because you can charge a lot of money to show up here for a couple hours and make great money. Now, you get some business, you get growing, and it, it easily, easily, you can find enough business to keep you busy to get it to where you can make 100 bucks an hour or so with your time. If you were out there doing it with one other person and you were the small business owner, you take $1,000 or you take $500 off of what it's gonna cost you to hire employees, you know, all of a sudden the job makes you $1,100 in two days. 1,100 bucks in two days is what you can make. Let's say round down to 1,000 from some overhead, some travel, whatever it is. If you can make 1,000 bucks every two days, that's, let's see, to $2,500 a week, that is $10,000 a month. And if you work all year, that is $120,000 a year. At the price I paid to get my fence put in, if the owner would have showed up and worked with, this, with another employee who made $25 an hour, probably don't need to pay somebody $25 an hour, if he just showed up, $1,800 in expenses, $500 in the other employee, that is $2,300, he charged me $4,500, sorry, $3,400, he charged me $4,500, so it's $1,100 profit in a day, oh, sorry, two-day job, $1,100 profit in a two-day job, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal money. You can make over hundred grand a year doing fences on the side. And then when it comes time to scale up, you raise your prices a little bit, you hire that person who had been helping you for a year, you hire them as the crew leader, and you grow a scalable business. Hope this helps. Talk to you guys soon.